Michael Strahan was inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2014 after winning a Super Bowl with the New York Giants and putting together seven Pro Bowl seasons and capturing the all-time sacks record. On Sunday, the Giants will finally retire his number 92, leaving Strahan wondering why he wasn't honored sooner. Defensive end Michael Strahan of the New York Giants celebrates a sack of quarterback Craig Krenzel of the Chicago Bears on November 7, 2004, at Giants Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. All of the things that I did with the Giants, I would have expected it a little bit sooner, but it's still an honor, he told the Associated Press on Wednesday. Things come in the time in which they're meant to come, and not at the time in which you want them to come, sometimes. That's the way I'm looking at it. I don't want it to look as if I'm ungrateful or I'm not honored by it because I truly am. I probably would have expected it to come a little bit sooner than it did. The MetLife Stadium ceremony will take place in the middle of the Giants taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. He's expecting Eagles fans to be in attendance. So if they boo, it's an honor for me that they're booing. I'll take it as that. I always loved playing the Philadelphia Eagles. They were always good for a few sacks a game," he said. Michael Strahan of the New York Giants tosses Trent Green of the Kansas City Chiefs to the ground on August 13, 2004, at Giants Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Above all else, though, he admitted he still watches the Giants. This January 19, 2020. File photo shows Michael Strahan before the NFL and FC Championship football game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Green Bay Packers in Santa Clara, California. Do I watch every game as if I am still playing and the biggest fan of the Giants? Absolutely, he said. Do I get frustrated like every other fan out there? Absolutely. Do I look at it and think that I could get off my couch sometimes and go play and help the team? Absolutely. The Giants will hope to pick up a victory after a blowout loss to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, which led to the firing of offensive coordinator Jason Garrett. The Associated Press contributed to this report. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.